Hello, I am Karina Cat, and this is Final Fantasy XIV Main Scenario Quest Playthrough on a new character. This is Exalia Maors. Welcome. We are continuing our quest from where we left off, which you'll just have to guess on where we left off because let's go. Oh, I have a gooboo. I have a little baby gooboo now. Zayas, meet my gooboo friend. His name is Goo Goo. Hello, Goop Goo. He's cute. And apparently we'll beat up kittens, so... Hmm. Oh, watch out, Stella. Ha! <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> what? Uh... Hey, that'd be like calling me a bunny, okay? But... I would most likely take offense to that, mm -hmm. so that's a no-go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a Viera, thank you. Anyway, hi, Yustola. <sighs> you have the look of a woman who has been to the seventh hell and back. Yeah, that's about right. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals? For a banquet held in her own honor. And this while the shadow of Titan looms over us all. It beggars the belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, ig ignominy? I fear ignominy. I should have accepted my lot with less grace. Wait, this party is in honor of me? Apparently? Lady Estola, Lady Maor. <laughs> A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, madam. Had I known, I would never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. So this is your fault. Come now, she must have said something was amiss. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? I mean, I was under the impression that's what you were doing, so yes. Spare her your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. And unlike me, Exalia has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you should be so good as to enlighten her. Aye, aye, fair's fair. There's no sense in hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured. Not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by his own criteria. If it, even one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proved herself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deigned Tess Exalia with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I am sure. But tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? She's a brave one, that much is certain. She willingly walked into the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it could cost her her life. Her skill is undeniable. 
She stalked her prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands, and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Ixalia, however, is a kind and generous soul. I am certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. <laughs> Wily Uplander is talent. Talentful plans maker. Trixy foe for mighty rock man. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, Exalia Maors, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I just need to know how to get to him. Thanks, though. Mm-hmm. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Some of the dancers, pour the wine! Oh, good. So there is still a party. Nice. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. For today, we celebrate the birth of a new legend. Exalia Moors, Titan's Bane. Efreet and Titan's Bane, yes. Exalia Moors, Efreet and Titan's Bane. Go on, have fun, I suppose. Can you be any less creepy, dude? Damn. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. What pants are those? Which ones? Uh, not sure. I don't think those are ones you can get in the game. The top is, I think, a bikini one. I've seen the top before, but the pants, I think, might be like the Paladin level 50 pants. <laughs> of course. Ooh, exotic feast. Don't mind if I do. Om nom nom. Thank you. Mmm. Goop. And yellow goop. Mmm. Tasting the exotic feast triggers divine revelation. In that brief transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. What the fuck? Drugs. Drugs indeed! When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Luminsa, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no greater victory was ever achieved alone. That is fair. Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty rock man with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. <laughs> You did. You you saved me a lot there, Brave Blocks. <laughs> Once again, buddy, stop being so god's damn creepy! Ah, Exalia, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him what Landonel sends his regards. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's like the second Game of Thrones reference. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this would have been before that even... The books would have been out. Oh, that's true. Would that have been in the... 
<sighs> yeah. You are a veteran of countless battles, Ixalia. This is but one more. Trust in your experience, and you will prevail. You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the Earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. It's probably like the nicest things you've you said to me since we met. You you doubted me pretty pretty hardly. All y'all did. Besides Brayflox, I think. And Lomani. Shimani Lomani over there. You are kind to indulge them, Exalia. This ban- this banquet- ba what? This banquet? Is as much for the company as it is for you. Whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the Battle of Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Yes, we must. Whoop. Whoop. Onwards! You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Upper Lenosha. There you will meet with Rio, another man who once served with the company. To ensure that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will remain in hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me a map. You must whistle loudly at the three locations I mark. Only then will he appear to meet you at this fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risk inherent in our method. I, I don't doubt it. Let's see. Oh my god. Camp Bronze Lake. Here we come! Woo! Ah! Oh, god, I broke both my ankles! I thought there was water. Go, go find Zayas. Zayas! Zayas. We got out. We got Oh, I broke both my ankles. Come on, Chocolate Junior. Where the fuck is he? Bro, you ain't on my map. Not sure how that happened, but you're going in the right direction. You on the dock? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Mm. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Someone's in high spirits. I, I finally think I get to go kill Titan. After all this bullshit, I can finally go kill Titan. So let's go punch some things. Ixalia, serious question. Yes? Do I... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We can talk about it later. Okay. Onwards to Titan slaying. I can't swim! Oh no! Onwards? Yeah. Alright, let's go punch a giant rock in the face. This is what every day has been looking up for. Whistle. Nope. Whistle. Nope, that's also wrong. Try right clicking it. Ah. Uh. Oh. Well, I mean, the problem here is that I still spelled whistle wrong three times. <laughs> is that first one not correct? <laughs> no. Or unless I don't have the emote. Is there a whistle emote? I thought there was. Yeah, there has to be because you call your like Griffin and stuff. Or Griffin. <laughs> Choke mount. 
mount. You can call your mount. Ma'am, I, I need to tell you something. You're bathing. You're taking a shower right behind where a chocobo is. So... You might be covered in chocobo shit. Anyway. I hope I didn't have to do this in a certain order because it's definitely going to be wrong. Nah, you should be good. Whistle! Oh, there he is. Creep. Just watching people and shit. La di da di da di da. Yeah, 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 yeah. He comes in play later, doesn't he? He does. I was about to say, I recognize his name, but I don't remember from what. Hi, I'm Exalia. Greetings, lass. Might you be the one that Captain said would come calling? What's funny is I know he's not going to sound like this when he comes up later, so. <laughs> I don't even remember if he had a voice. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining myself twice. Let me go punch a rock. Come on, let's go, let's go. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across the Beastman Aetherite, see? Uh, what's that look for? Not familiar with them? I can't say that I am. No. <clears throat> he speaks of an unamplified etherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such etherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, Exalia. Oh, well, if it ain't the Charlian lass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels between Ogamoro from a bewildering labyrinth that form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the Company of Heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Huh. Give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step, and the next thing you know, you got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around, and... And it... I'm sorry, it was... Apostrophe threw me off. To have no trouble finding their way around. And it was... And it was that, as God is thinking. I mean... Ugo... Ugo Mara mines are like a, a bleeding city, ain't they? And getting around a city that big would be a right pain in the ass if you didn't have an Ethernet, wouldn't it? So it, so it stood to reason that the kobolds must have one. So it stood to reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? See, the apostrophes just make everything so difficult. It looked like single quotes. Oh, I see. Hmm. Even if there were ether right shards in the depths of o Ogamoro, you would have needed to attune yourself to them before you could identify the their signatures within the live stream. Ah. Well, that's where you were wrong, love. We have the Shalian bloke to help us, see. Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't really know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlene scholar worth her salt couldn't manage. Did he now? <laughs> Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the etherites in questions happen to be... Ah, uh, yes... But in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm. 
It is possible, in theory at least. Yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, lass. Don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we all go to Zelma's run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far. Though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Not you can't handle, mind. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Did you like the wine? What wine? The wine you so picking stakingly got. Oh. I don't I don't I don't know if I drank any. Oh. I was just happy to finally be able to like, you know, chill out and relax and not not have to be running around doing mindless errands all the time. It did seem like a very nice party. Ah! Yes. Ah. Isaias, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> so this is the etherite the company of heroes used to gain access to Titan Sanctuary. Hmm. It is Papalimo speculated. In his present state, this etherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, Exalia. I must needs remain here and supplement the beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. I would probably rather have that, yes? Fear not. I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the etherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do, you will be on your own. Okay. I, I think I should be good. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. Yes! The navel is now accessible. Sis? Huh? Huh? You ready to go fight a rock? Always. Onwards! To rock fight! Yes! Yeah! Boo! <laughs> the one time you're waiting on DPS. Damn. Yeah, there's one. Come on, number two. <laughs> Look at Overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. She uses our etherite against us. She has defiled Titan's sacred sanctuary. Triss passed violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave! Overdwellers must fly! Brothers and sisters, fear her not! Her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags! Hear me, Overdweller! You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the Covenant! 
You shall be forced to face judgment. Then Limsa Lominza and her oathbreakers, liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. Oh, great father, lord of crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Oh, great father, lord of crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Ho ho! Hey there, pretty. He has come! He has come! The Lord of Crags Titan is come! Overdwella, art thou deaf to the weeping? Thy vile kind coveteth ever the blessing of the land, and murdereth my children by the score. All in service to greed, such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. Godless overdweller, thy myriad heresies shall not go unpunished. Upon thee, I shall wreak havoc, a terrible vengeance! Woo! Let's kill a rock. Let's kill a rock. Hell yeah. Ooh, I don't have an AoE heal. Oh, I don't have my fairy out. Yee. I shall grind thee beneath my heel, mortal. Shall grind thee beneath my heel, mortal! For thee, my hatred is unending, unyielding. Oh, my, my fairy does heal. Okay. It's Alia. Yes. One of our comrades. Oh. Good work. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, that doesn't look it's good. It's all here! Ah! Whew. It hurts! I mean, you good? I'm. Okay, I think. Oh. Zai! The Lord of Crags, Great Father Titan, has fallen! Ooh, a piece of candy. Sorry, you no, know, don't eat that. Mmm, <sighs> yummy. Now I got four. Boo.
The crimes of the Elva Dwellers shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten. No, no, never. Twas your kin who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression, and or never will there be peace until our dying breaths. We shall defy you, deny, decry, defy. Oh. Now these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I've seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Ritalt. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have best it tighten in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth to the legends, it could have readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea, given but a little while longer. Is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. Have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this course of action. Fool. And now she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Kristen. Far though you have come, your, your work is far from done. Mm. Whoops. And not remain to mark his passing. Hmm. Well, the Asians are nothing if not elusive. It is a little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. Hmm. What common goal could they possibly share? Okay, you could just return. That's fine. That's not how the teleporting in this game works, but okay. I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well at hand. I've taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow in on. There's something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Eighth Right in Zelma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? Alrighty then. <laughs> Still pretty sure that's not how teleporting works, but okay. Oh, what? No loot? Boo. On hey, what? so, hey, um, about when I rushed in when we nearly got blinded, mm -hmm. you didn't, you, you didn't hear me say anything, did you? No. No, I did not. Good. Also, uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, just in case, you know, I, I just want you to know, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. For what, about exactly? what I said about about what I said about do you, do you mind? <laughs> I'm trying to have a moment here. That's probably not the best one to be on either. I'm sorry 
about what I said about the Charlians, about calling Ishtola a kitten. <laughs> I just... I see a, in all these races that I draw my sword on, I see a lot of my old self. And I hate it. I just... I don't want to be everything that I'm fighting against. And... I thought I was going to lose you there, so... I just wanted you to know that before anything else happens. I get it. All good, buddy. I know you would. All right, enough of this. Why are you getting all sentimental on me? Let's get back to Camp Bronze. Me? Onwards to Camp Bronze Lake. It's a little bit of a drive, so. I'll bet it is. Mm. Yay. Let me just hit, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Well, actually, I don't know which one's better to have right now. Uh, yeah, not technically this. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, right here. I'm relieved to see you well, but come, let's discuss our next step. Sounds good to me. Who's the next icon I can punch in the face? Pray return to the Waking Sands! The word will already have reached Maelstrom Command. Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Exalia. Of course it is. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. Onwards to... What? Lemsa! Woo! I took a dip in the hot springs while we were here. <laughs> it smelled faintly of chocobo. Mm, you probably should have been at a different one. That's also what, a why? really weird thing to... Oh, no reason. None whatsoever. Exalia, what are you not telling me? Thank you for coming, Exalia. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First Ifrit, and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly, and there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limsa Lamensa are forever in your debt. I shall relay the detail of your report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the science of the Seventh Dawn. What? Oh, okay. Th thanks. <sighs> Almost like she just listens in to my damn conversations. Hello? Exalia! Oh, nope, sorry, wrong person. Exalia, this is Menphilia. Yastrola has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Yashola emerged from o Ogamoro unscathed. Why, Tataru and the others seem to be glad of that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There's much to discuss. Godspeed. Of course. Pray, return stop yelling at people, Zayas, damn. I just want you to know you're doing a fantastic job, <laughs> and I wouldn't change anything about it. Mm -hmm, you should mm -hmm. be proud of yourself and change absolutely nothing. Now, if excuse me, I have to go tell the same thing to- <laughs> He'll never find me here. 
kind of waking sense is the last place I would expect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's not good. Why are there people here? Tataru? Tataru! God damn it, what happened? Tataru! <gasps> oh shit. Oh, oh god. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Tataru! And, and, and I guess Menphilia. Sure. <gasps> oh no! Naraxia! Oh! Are you okay? Please be okay! This one is glad. Walking one is safe. No. Oh. Ow, my eyes. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heaven she is safe. Louisois, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Advance no further! We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. <laughs> Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage. But you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. No! Conditions of surrender. Deny. Cease at once! Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough! We leave! Bring the prisoners!
a walking walking one Minfilia ask this one too <laughs> in case walking one re returned this one was to say to say at church in eastern Thanalan walking one was claim sanctuary this one tried tried to protect walking one and filia fr from imperial ones no it's okay it's okay for give this one safe It's okay, it's okay. No, oh, not me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll take the fight to them. Never know what hit them. We need to go now. What? Why? What happened? Somebody. The Empire. They attacked the Scions. They took a couple of them hostage. We need to go to Camp Drybone immediately. Let's go. Onwards. To Camp Drybone! Wait, where's the Sylph? Mm. I... I don't think she's gonna make it. I see. Minfilia left her with a message to go. Whoops! No! No! Oops! Well. <laughs> we need to go sir, back to Old Dawn at some point. <laughs> I just accidentally set my home point to here. <laughs> oh. Well then. <laughs> Today is just full of tragedy. Oh god, it sure is, man. Anyway, Naroxia left a, a message to go seek sanctuary here. Or, Menphilia left a message to Naroxia for me about this. <sighs> hmm. Zayas, they were after me. Because and I whoa, fell, whoa. Ex be because I fell, Ifrit and Titan. They were looking for me, and because I wasn't there, they killed a bunch of people. Took Menphilia. I saw Papalimo, Tataru, Urianje. Hey, look at me. I've seen enough to know when it's time to, and I know enough. To know when it's time to blame yourself and when it's not. You didn't do this. They did this. You got me? <sighs> nope, that's If you start holding yourself if nope, you start holding yourself right. accountable for the actions of other people because you didn't do what they wanted or because they want something of you, then Well, that's the first step to them already winning. Yes, I know it's upsetting. But it's true. 
I'm so expressionless. <laughs> well, my feelings mutual. In any case, just know it's not your fault. It's the Empire's. I know. This is what they do. Well, let's try to save them. Let's try to get them back. Hello. I was told to seek sanctuary here. Is something troubling you, my child? You have the look of one who has endured great suffering. If there's anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. Bravesend. Oh. Ooh. Is there a right answer here, though? I'm pretty sure there is. The wild roses are dead, father. I know not what to do. The wild roses? I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends of the silence. They, they killed innocent people and they took some hostage. How? How could this have happened? They were looking for me. Are you certain that Minfilia was among those taken by the Garlean? 100%. I saw it. With my echo mind powers. Oh dear. Let us pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Menphilius. I have known her since she was but a child. Well, well do I recall the day of our first meeting. I swore then to do everything in my power to support her, and I will gladly offer the selfsame service to her brother and sister Silence. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marx, would you come here for a moment? Yes, Father. If you require assistance, pray speak with Marx. He's a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain. Marx is a survivor of the Battle of Carthano. Alas, his experience took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken him into our care, he would surely have perished in the, the desert. Marx, I want you to look after Exalia. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Thank you, Father. Why in the hell is that quest red? No, 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 I can't see. Damn it. Well, if you click on it, it'll tell you the level. Eh, 35. <laughs> of course it is. Well, I guess that's a good place as any to end this. Hopefully we find out soon what happened to the Scions, and if I can save them. Until next time, on Final Fantasy XIV Main Scenario Quest Playthrough. Bye!